Hello guys and welcome to the comprehensive guide to mining cryptocurrencies using CPU. In this video, we're going to talk about everything you want to know about mining cryptocurrencies and how you can start mining one right from your home. All you need is a laptop or a PC with a decent processor. So let's begin. Now we must understand what actually mining is. Well, mining is the process which involves validating data blocks and adding transaction records to a public record known as the blockchain. Mining generally refers to solving a computationally tough mathematical puzzle or in technical terms hashing and the first computer to find a solution to the problem is rewarded with newly created cryptocurrencies and the involved transaction fees and the process begins again. For example, in case of Bitcoin, the miner needs to come up with a nonce, which when added to the block number, the transaction details and the previous hash will generate a hash with 20 leading zeros when hashed using the SHA-256 algorithm, also called the secure hashing algorithm. The first computer to come up with this kind of hash is rewarded with newly created bitcoins and the involved transaction fees. Alright, now the question is, how do people mine cryptocurrencies? Well, earlier days when Bitcoin was released for the first time, people actually used their CPU power to mine Bitcoins. But now, with increase in number of devices and the evolution of processing powers, miners these days use GPUs or ASICs, which is short for Application Specific Integrated Circuits for mining purposes. The reason being, they have super high hash rates and are more efficient than traditional CPUs which enables them to solve crypto problems faster than other users and hence reduce the competition. But that doesn't mean CPU can never be used for crypto mining. There are still places where we can use CPU for mining purposes and using GPUs or ASICs might seem absurd. Let me explain you this concept with an example. Suppose you have a million dollars in your account and would like to spend all of them on cars. What kind of cars would you buy? Would you be buying 50 Volkswagens or 2 Lamborghinis? Of course you would be buying 2 Lamborghinis since you are financially capable of buying it. It would seem absurd to buy 50 Volkswagens because anyone can own a Volkswagen but not a Lamborghini. Now what if you had only $30,000 to spend? You don't have any option but to go with the Volkswagen. You can't afford a Lamborghini no matter how hard you try it. Similarly, Different cryptos have different cryptocurrency difficulties. The higher the cryptocurrency difficulty, more the computational power required to mine them. Cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin have high crypto difficulty than coins like Shiba Inu or Bitcoin. Hence, GPUs and ASICs are better suited for mining these coins that have high crypto difficulty than those with the least. Since the reward for mining higher crypto difficulty coins are also high, Miners with professional mining rigs will be naturally attracted to mine those coins than cryptos like Shiba Inu or Bitcoin. It's not that they don't have an option to mine cryptos with low difficulty, but it's more like mining them feels like a waste of potential resource. Just like I mentioned earlier, a Volkswagen is accessible to anybody but not a Lamborghini. Now you might be wondering, since we are mining low difficulty coins like Shiba Inu, we won't be earning quite a fortune as they are not worth much. I might as well begin some other ways of earning passive income. Now, here is the catch. Yes, you're right. The exchange rate is low as of now. But remember, Bitcoin also started this way. When it was first introduced in 2009, the price was at $0. To hit the $1 mark, it had to wait till 2011. Then the price never seemed to look back and rose to an ever new height every year and currently one Bitcoin is worth approximately $60,000. Alright, having those in mind, what coins can you mine using CPU? Well, frankly speaking, all cryptos can be mined using CPU. But the question is, will they be still profitable? The answer is, it depends. You can mine Bitcoin using CPU, but the loss you're gonna face will be huge. You won't see any considerable profit being made doing so. Hence, the best bet is to start mining low difficulty coins like Bitcoin, WebDollar, Shiba Inu, Xcash, and Uplexa. But an even better strategy is to mine these coins in a pool. In a pool, there are other miners like you who are willing to share their computational power to mine a block of crypto. The reward thus received is shared among the pool. 
In my case, I'm going to pool mine the coin Shiba Inu. But you can choose any coin you wish. Now you might be asking, why did I choose Shiba Inu? Well, Shiba Inu is a cryptocurrency inspired from the famous meme coin called the Dogecoin. Earlier this October, the price of Shiba Inu jumped from $0.00007635 to $0.00003305. That's a whopping 400,000 within a week. Many finance and crypto experts suggest that the coin is showing a strong bullish trend, which means the price of the coin is going to rise even more. Hence, more the coin we gather right now, the greater is our chance of earning a huge profit in the future. And the best part, it's very easy to mine them using your PC or laptop CPUs. Okay, now we got the theory and the reason behind mining Shiba Inu coins in a pool. So let's begin. Chop chop! Okay, so the first step is to create a crypto wallet. So head over to metamask.io and then click on download now. Now click on install metamask for chrome. If you're using firefox then there will be an option for install metamask for firefox. Now it will take you to your extensions page from where you can add it to the chrome. Click on add extensions and it will download and install it up for you. After installation it's gonna take you to your home.html page. If you did not load then you have to refresh once again and it will load the page. As you can see it has a nice landing page go ahead and click on get started now since we are doing it for the first time you have to click on create a wallet click on i agree and then type in the password i have read and agreed to the terms of use and then click on create now if you want you can go ahead and view this video but for safety purposes i will actually urge you to watch this as it will make sure that you understand what's happening but since i already know what's going to happen i'm going to click on this next button now this is the secret recovery phase your secret recovery phase makes it easy to back up and restore your account never disclose your secret recovery phase anyone with this phrase can take your account forever so click on this particular button over here and then copy these words and paste it on a notepad then click on next now we need to confirm our recovery phase make sure that you go ahead and confirm the recovery phrase after you have clicked on all the phrases click on confirm click on all done that's it we have successfully created our metamask wallet and the one that we see right over here is our metamask wallet address so if you want to receive your coins to your address then you have to copy this particular address right over here so the first step is done now the second step is to connect metamask to binance smart chain the reason we are choosing binance smart chain is because they have lower fees and faster transaction confirmations so go ahead and visit this particular site i'll be giving the link below so go ahead and click on it and from there the step-by-step -step installation process for setting up metamask with binance smart chain is clearly written over there so let me go ahead and configure my wallet which is right over here with the binance smart chain network for that first of all we need to go to metamask and then click on this particular logo right over here and then go to settings then we need to go to networks now we need to add our own network so go ahead and click on add network and then we need to type in this particular information and these information are written if you go down right over here we can see the information are written right over here we just need to copy this information and paste them here so the first one is the network name is smart chain so let me just go ahead and copy and paste them right over here now the second one is new rpc url so the new rpc url is mentioned here now the third one is chain id which is 56 currency symbol is bnb and block explorer url is this particular link right over here now click on save now this will load your binance smart chain and connect it to metamask as you can see here the logo has been changed to bnb now if you look right over here it will be seen as smart chain instead of ethereum mainnet 
as you can see okay so till now we have created our metamask wallet and we have connected it to the binance smart chain network now we are going to download a cpu miner known as the xmrig so go ahead to xmrig.com and then click on the download button then choose your operating system mine is windows and download the zip file and extract it as you can see right over here i have already extracted the folder i'm going to double click on it and inside this you can see several files but the only file that we're interested in is pool underscore mine underscore example dot cmd we are going to configure this particular file so go ahead and right click and then click on edit now the only line that you need to edit is the one right over here as you can see mine is already filled with some values but in your case it might be something different so let me explain what you need to fill here first of all you need to have xmrig.exe space hyphen o space the mine pool url now the mine pool url can be found out from the website unminable.com slash coins so go ahead and click on the coin that you need to mine in our case we are going to mine shiba inu so go ahead and click on shiba inu and from there you need to click on the random x option that is the only option which is available for cpu mining so go ahead and click on random x and then go down and here you can see a url which is rx.unminable.com is to 3333 which is the port number now if you put this particular link in place of this particular url then you will be automatically connected to the most closest server to your location but since I live in Asia, I already configured it to rx-asia.unminable.com is to 3333. So if you want to manually set it to the location, then you can click on this particular small link, which is manually set a server if you want, and then choose the URL that you're comfortable with. So after copying and pasting that URL right over here, you need to type space hyphen K, space hyphen U, space the coin that is ship which can be identified right over here the acronym shib so ship then a colon small colon space then you need to put in your valid address in your case you need to go to your metamask wallet and then copy this particular address and then paste it over here then you need to add a dot and then type in the name for the worker that is in my case it is cyber Winnie one you can put any name you want it does not really matter now after that this is the most important stage after typing your worker name you need to put a hash and then this particular code this particular code phi xlw hyphen reru is going to give you 25 percent off on the mining fee then you need to have space hyphen p then space x hit on enter and then at the last line you need to type pause so after you have configured your file it will look something like this now save your file and then click on close now the last step is to mine that you can do by clicking on this particular file which is pool underscore mine underscore example dot cmd right click on it and then click on run as administrator and that will begin mining now keep this as it is for a long period of time and then you will start collecting coins so after you have mined for a while let me cancel it up Control c is used to cancel and then press any key to exit now if you go to your unminable website which is right over here and then put in your address in my case it is this particular address right over here and then click on search and as you can see till now i have this much ship in my account and if i go ahead and click on stats you can clearly see all the stats of your mining process so that was all about mining cryptocurrency using cpu in our case we used shiba inu but you can widen your portfolio by investing in some of your time mining other cryptocurrencies as well so thanks for watching and see you in another awesome course.